The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau recently reported that customers in black and Hispanic neighborhoods are twice as likely to have disputes of inaccurate information on their credit reports, which are errors that could undermine someone's financial recovery in the pandemic. So our consumer reporter, Heather Sullivan, has been digging into this issue and joins us live tonight. Heather, what'd you learn? Good evening. And not only does this report say that black and Hispanic consumers have higher amounts of disputes on their credit reports, but the FTC says the top complaint that they hear from black consumers is trouble getting those errors corrected. But the thief got away with $8,500, $8,600 worth of merchandise from furniture, electronics, and appliances. So I was like, wow. And that's not all. Where they did manage to get away with the 2019 Range Rover Velar. Akil Wilson says identity theft has sideswiped his peace of mind and his credit score. 14 inquiries on my, it was hard inquiries on my, my report. So it dropped my credit significantly, almost 200 points. Wilson has filed police reports and says he's receiving help from the credit bureaus to refute the charges. We did, we set up three-way calling so that they would know that, you know, I'm on the line, Spurion's on the line, and we're, we're basically disputing you know, these uh, inquiries and these uh, accounts. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau found consumers in black and Hispanic communities are twice as likely to have disputes on their credit reports regarding auto loans, student loans, and credit cards. The report did not pinpoint why, whether it's identity theft or inaccurate reporting. So a lot of people I talked to, um, you know, they were about to get a job and then their employer, you know, checked their credit and that's how they found out. Um, that they had a credit problem and they didn't get the job. Dr. Sarah Green is a Duke University law professor who studies credit reporting. Green says many black consumers with a credit report error said they didn't know how to correct it or face challenges getting it corrected or getting documentation such as a police report. Green says some even reported feeling a bias while trying to correct it. A lot of people did say that they felt like because of who they were, because they already had low credit scores, they felt like because that's who I am, people don't believe me. While Wilson says credit bureaus are helping to clear his credit, he wishes the debts had never been allowed to land there in the first place. See, and now I'm trying to fight to get all this removed to go back to having, you know, good credit. Now, uh, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion did not respond to our request for comment. However, the Consumer Data Industry Association uh, sent us a statement reading the CFPB recently issued a misleading report that undermines the credit reporting ecosystem's commitment to expanding financial inclusion. And it writes that credit reports do not contain race, gender, marital status, or other kinds of demographic information. You'll find more on Sullivan Smart Sense on Fox 26 Houston.com. Heather Sullivan, Fox 26 News.